What's good, YouTube? So, one way you can instantly feel more like a warrior and look more like a warrior is to trim your hair. I think this is the equivalent to like a number two or whatever. And like, I do this um, probably like once a year, but I've been doing this for a, a long, long time. Um, yeah, get rid of all of it, man. Like, it feels refreshing. It feels like smooth and uh, you feel more powerful when you uh, get rid of it. You don't want to be too attached to how you look and you don't want to be well i don't do my hair for the videos anyway right but you don't want to ever be like oh is my hair looking good is it is it you know like if you want to feel more like a warrior and more powerful get rid of your hair buzz it all off man don't be too attached to how you look it's pretty simple right and uh keep your beard if you've got some facial hair keep your beard too man like it looks um looking pretty good to be fair like i quite like it um yeah, if you have a beard, it's like it shows that you've got like quite high testosterone. If you can grow like a a good beard, man, and that that short hair, longish kind of beard, is or medium beard, is uh, a powerful look. And um, again, you don't want to do it to to look good. You, this is besides the point. You want to do it to feel like a warrior. And I've stated before why you want to feel more like a warrior if you're a physically challenged man, and if you're watching this channel you're probably that mm. so yeah get rid of all that hair simple easy effective right mm. and uh <clears throat> if you're concerned like oh uh oh, oh, i don't, I don't want to get rid of all my hair because uh, i won't look as attractive to girls uh, i won't look um, my best uh, girls will think i look weird it's not even like that like <laughs> girls aren't even attracted to looks as, as weird as that sounds right i mean okay no yeah you can be attractive with looks but if you have like short hair that's not going to make a difference to if a girl likes you or not like if she likes you she's going to like you despite having uh bad hair yeah actually i got a, a story with that <laughs> um probably about 12 years ago back in, in high school right um <laughs> This girl was annoyed with me, and uh, rightly so, to be fair. She she had reason to be annoyed with me at this time. But I didn't realize, like, what I'd done to annoy her. So she was just coming out at me like, Oh, Max, you're such an asshole. Max, uh, fuck you, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, uh, But anyway, she comes out with, Oh, and you think you look so hot, even with that stupid haircut. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm hot. Of course I am, shit. And she got <laughs> she got really annoyed to the point where she well, she was mad at me for other reasons, not just because I was egotistical and looking hard or whatever. And she literally like punched me in the face a little bit. I was like, the fuck are you doing? Uh, the point is like, if a girl likes you, she's gonna like you even if you have a stupid haircut, all right? So having your hair short isn't gonna, you know, Women are still going to find you hot if they found you hot beforehand, right? It's the energy that you bring. It's the masculinity. It's the power. It's who you are as a man. That's the thing that's hot. Although you don't want to care about your your looks uh, in general, you do want to be presentable, right? So, I don't know if you can see, but like I've done my lip line here, right? right? And the beard, it's long, but uh, it's uh, I've trimmed it down to, I think, this is like... 12 millimeters something like that or, or 14 14 millimeters the, the the hair and the beard it was longer than this slightly longer and i cut it down to nine millimeters so this is this is nine millimeters but the point is you make it all the same length around here and you do well what i like to do because it, it looks better in my opinion is i make this one level shorter than, than the rest of the beard and yeah make sure you do a your lip line as well because you want to look you want to look and feel like a warrior but you want to be presentable too <laughs> actually uh <laughs> that brings up another little uh memory so uh i was with uh, a different girl and this girl was more of a friend so i wasn't trying to like impress her or anything uh so i think it was the day before new year's eve and i can't remember why i went to see her but and what we were doing i think we were in my car and we were just talking um and she was like oh before you go out tomorrow you need to like you know 
get your lip line done because I'd I'd let my um my lip line grow like really like long and uh, yeah I wasn't uh, I didn't groom before going to see her because it was just like just her that, that sounds bad but like yeah I wasn't trying to impress that girl so so I I guess I was too comfy around her to be fair. Um, and she was like, no, yeah, yeah, make sure you do your lip line, because otherwise you won't look, uh, well, I don't know what she said, I can't remember. But, like, the point is, you want to look presentable, too. So, feel like a warrior, but also keep yourself presentable, you know? And uh, don't care about what people think about how you look, it's all about how you feel. And uh, when you have this, uh, this simple haircut, you feel... Sounds strange to people, but at least I feel more grounded and more powerful and more uh, calm. It's uh, it's one less thing to worry about, right? Like now I don't have to, well, again, I don't do my hair in the videos, uh, but if I was doing my hair, I, I use powder to like get the volume up and stuff. Because, uh, yeah, my hair started to fall out when I was um, going through depression, but that's another point. You need three things, right, to, to do this. You need... A vanity mirror or like some kind of big mirror everyone has like a, a large mirror in their house somewhere I would presume so you want to sit in front of uh, a large mirror you need your grooming tool for your body you don't even need to buy clippers you just need like this is I use this on most of my body <laughs> um, you just need this and like if you don't have one of these like what are you doing you, you need uh, a tool for grooming you need to be taking care of yourself and, and you know, making your, your whole body be presentable. Again, even if you're not doing it for women, for yourself, right? Make sure you're always clean and presentable. Um, so yeah, if you don't want to buy clippers, if clippers are too expensive, you don't want to uh, do that, buy these, you know, I think I bought these probably like five years ago now, 30 quid, something like that, right? And I do, again, most of my body with, with these, and uh, they double up as uh, as a hair clipper, right? You just have the uh, the attachment, the, the 12 millimeter one, and uh, you're good to go. Real simple, uh, worthy investment, because if you go and get your hair cut, right, it's like 15 quid minimum for, for, for just like, for them to, to, to style it and make it look all pretty and shit. Get yourself one of these, 30 pounds, like the price of two haircuts, you know, two haircuts, you've already got your money back on this. Uh, and another thing you want is a mirror, a little hand mirror. And I can't remember how much this cost me, probably 15 quid, right? So yeah, both of these together, like three haircuts worth, but obviously you can use it multiple times or way more. And it's obvious why you want one of these, right? So you can like, you're looking in the mirror in front of you and then you can see the back of your head and, and check that you've done a, an okay job on that, you know? Like, yeah, I, I think, um, yeah, it looks, uh, looks pretty decent. Yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching.